got the Pro Bar gear. Oh, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> well, I just added the PVC and the little stakes to kind of hold the traps. Yeah. It works out. Very cool. It's a funny looking lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Have we measured yet? It's the biggest star you've ever seen. Not yet. I think it's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's past the eyeball check. You need to borrow a gauge? I got one. <laughs> crab. Well, good to do the crab too. <laughs> 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 it's good to have crab size. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's for sure. It's way big. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what did I say about calling Uber Eats, have them bring a steak here? <laughs> <laughs> We got the, we so, so who's the, who's the owner of this lobster? Me. So how proud are you? You're the first person to catch a lobster, I think, tonight. Really? I thought there was some legal, no? I don't think so. I don't think so. The legal one, yeah, legal one. Wow. So how proud are you? Are there people in your life that you should thank? Uh, uh, for coming here? Thank uh, for the boat ride yesterday for the tuna head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Sea yeah. Watch. Yeah. Sea Watch. Crew. Yeah. yeah. So you caught this on another boat? The uh, the tuna, the bait. Yeah, bait. The tuna head. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess the, I guess the keeper well, has finer taste or something. He's like, I like that. I know. <laughs> Oh, you can sit up here. Oh, next time, some of our are you? Yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're looking to catch legal sized lobster, uh, this lobster, this pier, uh, it has a lot of undersized lobsters typically on it. Um, there are some legals, but but you'll catch a lot of uh, undersized ones to, to any legal one. Um, there, there's definitely better places to fish, um, but most of them are, are uh, dive spots or you have to be on a boat setting your hoop nets. Not really. <laughs> no, nothing legal sized yet. Oh, none at all. Okay, I've seen one. Earlier this evening, divers had some um, had some legal lobsters at some few few limits. Looked like pretty decent diving up up north. Did you say limits? Yeah. Like as in seven? Yes. Wow. Okay. I'm I'm really glad I talked to you. I, everybody's been so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, some people get lucky, but for the most part, I think it's been pretty slow. So, okay. Yeah. So if you're not not a diver and not a boat person, this is this is probably the best place. Yeah, in, any of your public access piers are, the, are where you can fish because to fish hoop net properly, you really have to be straight up and down on it. Right. Um, so it's hard to do off the shore. So if you don't have a boat you're, or you don't like to dive, you're pretty much you know uh, stuck on the piers as far as uh, hoop netting. You know, with any. Uh, Right. With luck, I guess you'd say. Now, do you find uh, many people bringing undersized lobsters back, or any or or any issues like that? Unfortunately, yes. That, that's so common. Yes. Okay. And what's the fine for that? Uh, I don't. It's set by the courts, um, so you'd have to ask the courts on that. You know, okay. It's a case by case basis. Okay. You know, we don't set the fines. We just uh, a citation is more or less a tracking form, 
just shows that you know if we if we issue a citation, it shows that um, on such and such a date at such and such a time we found someone in possession of whatever whatever it is, whether it be an undersized lobster, undersized fish, something out of season. Right. Um, we, that citation goes to the court. The court's the ones that hears the case, and then they set the fines. So can be yeah, there's a lot of rules to fishing. It's a it's a um, it's a highly regulated activity, and so you just got to know the know the rules when you're out here. You know, you're responsible to, to know them. Okay. I got to check some people. Sure. Nope, got some people to check. So okay. Out of here. I appreciate it. Though. Better luck next time for us. And media is 97. Media 97 so far as